fans started thinking and believing there are no rules and we are here to get into fights and we're here to uh, take this adrenaline testosterone rush and act on it against each other rather than just watching it and, and letting our, our, our emotions and passion and energy out by watching other people beat each other up. No matter where you go to, you're always going to have 10% of the people who are going to act unruly and start something. I mean, that's not unusual at a football game, at a hockey game, at a baseball game, at any kind of event. So I'm not going to blame the fans for it. I mean, you know, there's always a few bad apples that are going to start something. But as far as the product making the fans unruly, I would totally disagree with that. You can blame the product. Or you can just say it, it attracts that type of crowd. Um, it's the same. It's it's a rock rock show crowd. It's like going to a heavy metal concert. Of course, there's going to be fights. You're, you're dealing with a bunch of um, older teenagers and, and early 20 20 somethings, and they get rowdy. They're drinking. You're, you're going to have some fights occasionally. And I, I think the product probably fueled it a little bit. There were a lot of riots. A lot of fan riots later on. It was never the arena. It was always the smaller towns they went to. 